day. The sorrow, the hardship, and the pain. But do the mountains crumble and the oceans rage? And war against my soul the devil may wage. Though the tempest has turned my smile upside down, and my life like a river of sorrow in which I drown, yet will I stand, unshaken for as long as it lasts. Faithful is he that promised and it shall come to pass. Son and of the Holy Spirit. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be now unto me according to thy word. Holy Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. Amen. The word was made flesh, and it dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Together we pray. Pour forth we receive thee, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ your Son was made known by the message of an angel. May by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, today we want to thank God in a very special way for the life of Father Sebastian, Father Anthony, Father Hughes, and Father Saki. We want to thank God in a very special way because these men of, of God are celebrating their fifth anniversary as priests. We want to thank God for the many unmerited blessings that he has bestowed upon them. We want to thank God for the many graces he bestowed upon their ministries. May God continue to fill them with the great love that they need so that they may continue to avail themselves to the mission entrusted into their hands. As they celebrate their fifth anniversary today, we also pray for God's blessings upon them, asking that as they go ahead in their ministry, God will shower His graces, His blessings for them to live as people called to minister for the people. Today we would like to reflect with you with the Friday of the 15th week in ordinary time. Joshua chapter 24, the verse 1 to 13. In those days, Joshua gathered all the tribe of Israel to Shechem and summoned the elders, the heads, the judges, and the officers of Israel. And they presented themselves before God and Joshua said to all the people, Thus says the Lord, the God of Israel, Your fathers lived of old beyond the Euphrates, Terah, the father of Abraham, and of Nahor, and they served other gods. Then I took your father Abraham 
from beyond the river and led him through all the land of Canaan and made his offspring many. I gave him Isaac and to Isaac I gave Jacob and Esau and I gave Esau the hill country of Seir to possess but Jacob and his sons went down to Egypt and I sent Moses and Aaron and I plagued Egypt with what I did in the midst of it and afterwards I brought you out then I brought your fathers out of Egypt and you came to the sea and the Egyptians pursue your fathers with chariots and horsemen to the Red Sea and when they cried to the Lord he put darkness between you and the Egyptians and made the sea came upon them and covered them and your eyes saw what I did to Egypt and you lived in the wilderness as long time then I brought you to the land of Mor, Mor to the Amorites who lived on the other side of the Jordan they fought with you and I gave them into your hand and you took possession of their land and I destroyed them before you then Balak the son of Zehor king of Moab arose and fought against Israel and he sent and invited Balaam the son of Bor to curse you but I will not listen to Balaam therefore he blessed you so I delivered you out of his hand and you went over the Jordan and came to Jericho and the men of Jericho fought against you and also the Amorites the Perizzites the Canaanites, the Hittites, the Garishites, the Hivites, and the Jebusites. And I gave them into your hand. And I sent the honest before you, which drove them out before you. The two kings of the Amorites, it was not by your sword or by your bow. I gave you a land on which you had not labored, and the cities which you did not build, and you dwell therein. You eat the fruit of vineyards and olive yards which you did not plant. The Word of the Lord. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, as we go on to recall the moments, the activities, and for which God has been gracious the people of Israel today we are reminded by Joshua he is looking back to what he has done from Abraham to Moses and now where they are but as I told you in my other recording that you know a person who does not reflect upon his life is not worth living because as Socrates made mention of as you go along each day you do not know how your back is our elders will tell us but one day you should sit and reflect upon your life and see how wonderful how great how mysterious God have played in your life and that is what Joshua has done to the people of Israel when they met at Shechem. And he told them, Your fathers worship the gods beyond the rivers. But all this, he took you people, he guided you, he led you, fought for you. What a provident God. He is a God that leads us to greener pastures each day. He is a God that provides for us in moment of need. He is a God that delivers us from the hands of the people when we are in distress. He is a God that brings us healing when we are sick. He is a God that knows our beginning and our end. What 
can we hide from him? My dear brother, my dear sister, today, Joshua reminds the people of Israel about who they are, where they have journeyed from, and where they are today. Are we grateful to God for that? Let us thank God for the moments that he has delivered us from the hands of the evil one. Let us thank God this day for the many protection and guidance that he has placed in our hearts. Let us thank God for the strength and the deliverance that he has brought into our lives. As individuals, as a family, as a community, as a church, as a state, as a nation, God has been good to us. Let us bless his name because he is the only God that we know. Let us come before him with our hearts full of gratitude and know that he is a saving God. He is an everlasting God and in him there is joy. In him there is peace because he provides us our need. What a provident father. What do you ask of God for and you do not receive? Relax. Is it your wife who is not able to deliver? And for all these years you have been married? They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. Beloved, is it that you have finished work and you have nothing to do and God is not providing for you? Can you ask yourself, even though you don't work, but you eat three times a day? That is a provident father. May you recognize his deeds in your life each day. May he bless you and help you to avail yourself to his mission. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Have a blessed day. Like the deer that yearns for running streams, so my soul yearns for you, my Lord. Psalm 42, verse 1. Beloved in Christ, your soul is longing for the Lord. My soul is longing for the Lord. Our souls are yearning for the word of God. Our souls need refreshment from the word of God. And that is also often said to us in Isaiah chapter 55, verses 10 to 11. That for as the rain and the snow comes down from the skies and do not return before having watered the air. Join me and other priests of the Archdiocese of Tamale from the 1st of June 2019 to listen and watch the living streams of water on our YouTube channel Depsocon TV Tamale and Facebook channel Department of Pastoral and Social Communication Depsocon Tamale. Each day, 12 noon, Listen, may God restore, renew, and strengthen your faith in the Catholic Church. Let them